I'm going to go ahead and get myself up so that I can see comments. I actually printed out the pattern so that I can follow along with the pattern directions. Awesome. All right, now let's see if I can see. What was it? What was it? Hello guys, how are you darling? I think I'm there, yes. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Katie. Hi. I can see you, I can see comments, yay. Awesome, okay, so this hot mess going on around here, this is everything that um, I think I'm gonna need. <laughs> So I kind of like had it spread out for, um, I'm trying to see if I can get my crossbody straps to be like a connector. Hi, Dawn. Hi, BJ. So that I can use my connectors that come with the box. So if you have not received a box because you have not purchased it yet, let me tell you what's inside. Okay. So. This beautiful box right here is your box. Hi, Sue. This is a fun toe. I know, right, Sue? Um, BJ, yeah. I, can, I, I, I know I'm going to love it. I'm already thinking of another one that I want to make. Okay, so here we go. So this is everything that comes in the box. So in the box, you get a edge tool applicator. So you can put whatever color you want in there to applicate. You get one yard of webbing. You get two, I'm sorry, one yard of zipper tape, gold zipper tape. You get two yards each of the blue and the dark red. Um, you get the Saya Swag thread. I will be using Saya Swag thread today. I'm going to find my bobbins and everything. I've got my little spool stands so I can use mine okay and then you also get these little paper clips they're super cute you also get i'm not going to show you the pattern qr code because it's for um people who purchase it so you can have this print which is the panel it's really big but the transponder it went perfectly with that so and then you have this one now i have changed it a little bit <clears throat> just because that this print here is so big it can't go with everything so you could swap it out for the enchanted rose canvas that i just got in so if you want it to exchange it just put a note in your um, a note in your cart when you purchase it, saying you want to exchange it for the enchanted rose. So it, it could be either this one or the notes, whichever one you want to exchange. Um, so you still get the same amount of fabric. It's just you get to choose wh with which one you want to have um, for the exchange. Um, and then you get all of your hardware. So I'm going to open this up for you guys to see. Oh, wow. That's true. That's true. I could get it printed in um, a poly cotton, but not cotton cotton. Uh, you also get a tag from Heartwood and Hyde that says, until the last petal falls. The color on these is very, it just varies which box you get. It's left, left of the draw. Okay, and then this is all the hardware you get. So you could, these are your Chicago screws. So you don't need a, river, a, a rivet press. I can't talk today. All you need is a screwdriver and a punch hole. Okay, so those are rivet magnets. So I'm sorry, rivet shock Chicago screws instead of rivets. 
Okay. Um, uh, you also get the option of you get a turn lock, this beautiful turn lock. It's nice and small and dainty. And you get your magnetic rose snap. Okay, and then it comes with the magnet. <laughs> it's, it's magnetized with everything, okay? Then you also get the stained glass zipper pull. You get a keychain. And you get everything for a crossbody strap. So you get the two swivel hooks, two D-rings, and a gold. Oh, thank you. Excuse you. And then you also get this beautiful 74 inch chain. Beautiful chain that comes with it. So all of this comes with the bell box. Hi, Aileen. How are you, sweetie? You working from home? <laughs> okay. So this is everything that comes in the bell box. Okay. Now, I know I get this question. What, what's the difference between the bell box and the beast box? So the beast box, you still get everything you see here. Plus the vinyl. So let me show that to you. Hold on. I know that if I don't do this right now, it will not, it will not get tied up and then I'll be like, no. All right, so I'll put that there. So again, you can exchange any of the printed canvases for this print if you want to. Just put it in the notes. Okay, so bam. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It comes with this beautiful box. Okay. Yes, I'm doing great. Okay, so yes, so that's this one. And then the beast box is everything included in the bell box plus these two. So this is a suede, uh, a faux suede. It's beautiful. It's got a nice soft back to it. It's, it's really nice. It's domestic friendly. You will see. Um, and then the vinyl, the enchanted rose vinyl. Um, and also domestic friendly, I will show you. Hey guys, I'm so happy you're here. I really am. Okay, um, Luna is taking a nap somewhere in this place. I don't know where she is, but she's taking a nap somewhere. Um, so hopefully she won't be biting at my, my feet today. All right, so I've got everything. I'm going to go ahead and... Hi, Lynette! Hi, y'all! The beautiful people! I'm looking for an empty bobbin. I know I have an empty bobbin. I know I have plenty of empty bobbins. Baby girl! There you are. I was just talking about you. All good things. All good things. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let me get my... Um... I'm guessing it's a two-bobbin job. So my guess is it's two bobbins for this bag. So I'm going to fill two bobbins. But this this is the uh, Taylor Swift fabric that I got in last week, and it sold out. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was going to be that popular. Like, I put my heart and soul into this, but at the same time, I didn't know how it was going to be received. So I didn't want to, like, make a huge investment in it. But um, I'm going to reorder it on Friday, so it should be here in a few weeks. I'm going to do a pre-order um, so you guys can... Get your little hands on it. So this right here, right? This is what I'm thinking about another Mr. Heckles. I think this one. Um, with, you have the fabric trying to decide. I know it's super hard to decide like what you're wanting to do with it. Oh, there it is. 
So I bought some hardware from Umoxie. So let me actually start doing this while I chat with you guys. Because I feel like get stuff done. <laughs> I always do that. I am automatically trying to thread the machine. So I didn't have webbing that would match. So look at that from New Moxie. That matches beautifully with that. And then I got some music note zipper pulls from New Moxie. I bought five of them because I didn't know how many I was going to need, but I was like, oh, look at that. So yes, stick with me and somewhere in here. Good morning, Grandma. You booked your flight. Woo -woo. All right, Lynette. <laughs> so speaking of June retreat, <clears throat> I'm not going to give away too much. Maybe. I don't know. I got to I got to text Shinova and make sure it's OK with her that I reveal the fabrics in person because the group has seen it. So our group. Our sewing retreat group has seen it. Oh, Dawn, thank you. Oh, I love that name, Biscuit, for your sewing machine. <laughs> I say that a lot. I do. Where's the other one? I just had it. I had two empty bobbins. Oh, here it is. I was like, I knew I had a second one. Because I know this is probably going to be a two bobbin job. Oh, that one doesn't fit. Oh. All right, so I'm going to text Genova um, here in a second. Okay, so I'm going to text you and see if I can do a teaser here. The teaser would be off. Right? Yeah. Lynette, that's awesome. $93 round trip. I mean, you can't go bad with that. I'm, I have my walking foot in case I need to use it. I don't think I'm going to need it uh, as an extra little tool. Just in case. That's like the little accessory thing that comes with it. There we go. So I wanted to make sure I had it in case I needed to switch over to my zipper foot or anything else. Don, you made my day, by the way. Oh, let me um, let me message Shinova and see if I can if I get her blessing on that. Okay. I'm sure she's going to be like, yeah. That's my concentrating face, though. My husband's always like. <laughs> I'm so excited. As per usual, if you see me doing something wrong, please scream stop. I will stop. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then we shall continue because I already have um, I already know myself. And myself says that I will. I got those two. Um, I know myself and we'll do that. I will. I put underneath here because you know, as short people, we have vertical challenge. So I'm pretty much going to try to use all of the, most of the hardware that comes with the actual box with this pattern. Um, the only thing that didn't come with this box that I may not be using is the, um, the square rings. That's the only thing I didn't think about. Because when I was doing this pattern in my mind, uh, the emu, the emu bag is the one that comes with this particular uh, box from Seems Legit. Tori did, uh, that was April's box, um, bag, sorry. And so when I was helping her design it, I had already ordered the hardware and I really wanted it to be easy to install, no special tools kind of thing. And I just completely forgot about um, square rings. I was like, what? I forgot about square rings. All right, I think she's in the middle of the video, so I'm gonna wait until she tells me I can. So stay tuned, because you might be able to get a sneak peek. Lynette, did you see the fabrics on the group? Okay. So, darling, darling, I'm just gonna be a little Awesome sauce. All right, so tell me I need my exterior. Back exterior piece. Okay, so without switching the pattern, for the interfacing, right? For the interfacing, I cut these little triangles out and folded it back where the dot, dot, dot lines like intersect. And, I may, and that's what made it easier for me to mark this and cut it without cutting my entire piece. Because I know I'm going to be making this bag a lot more. You forgot the group name. It's the Treat Yourself Retreat. That's the group name. Treat Yourself. <laughs> I'm like, oh, offended. Oh, you're you're secretly wishing for that, Aileen. Yeah, you're secretly wishing that the person who's supposed to be coming that same time frame doesn't come, so Aileen can be here. Aileen's awesome. Aileen is the um, the lady that she never went to go see with the sewing in the states in North Carolina. Aileen's that special person. You're ninety percent, ninety five percent finished with the emu. I use neon leopard print um, as the main slip pocket. Ooh. Fancy. So I was just showing you that quick little tip in case that helps anybody um, so that they don't have to print it twice, you know? All right, so I did that. I did this. Okay, and now it's telling me to... This is the... Okay. I'm looking for the other pieces. Okay, so this is the top. Okay. And it goes like this. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Okay, good. Like this? No. Like this. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Flip that there. Okay. 
right. So Shanova said yes. I can share it with my live. Not sharing it just yet though. No, turn back around. Not sewing the entire side. If this is the front main. No, this is the back piece. This is the back piece, and then this is the um, exterior back top, and then this is the exterior bottom. It's telling me that I have to sew a certain amount here to make that little hiding pocket. Hi, Shanova. I just told everybody that you um, gave us your blessings, and we're super excited. Okay, what am I looking for? Yes, the pocket, like the little hidden pocket. Hold on, my uh, Amazon. Sure. You're not going to be today. As long as you're okay with puppies. Oh, I am fine with the beautiful. I remember the last time he was actually on his leash. Uh huh. He got nothing. Oh, she. Good girl. And she won't go outside. She will not follow you. <laughs> Luna. Okay. I just love her markings and colors. Thank you. Yeah, she's a blue girl. Does you need to different? It is, especially for Did a you go to Clayton High School? No, I didn't go to high school here at all. I went to high school in Lee, um, Fort Myers. Estero High School is where I went to school. You look familiar. Oh, familiar. I get that a lot. <laughs> Well, I could stay here with them too all day. I know, right? You could. I'd love to. <laughs> you have a great day. All right, you too. Luna, come. Sit. Good girl. All right, I did my markings. Yeah, the waterproof canvas is the same color, um, Allison. So the it's exact same color. The only difference is is a smaller scale. I just wanted it to bring in the scale down just a little bit. But yes, it is. And okay. Luna's pouting because the lady left. Only to the light. Only to the light. Okay. Lift it up. Hey, baby girl, what's going on? You said you didn't have a friend. I'm sorry. I'll do that because it's, it's sticking over there. I was going to have the valve maintenance cord. Just I'll be ordering the waterproof canvas now. Yeah, go ahead. I think it's up on the website. Yeah. Double check. <laughs> um, because sometimes I'm like, yeah, it's there. And then people are like, I don't say it. I'm like, shoot, I forget to hit publish. Okay. So I did that. Now, fold. Down the seam a little That's where those big ones come from. BJ, that's when these big ones come in. Push it down. She just flops down by my feet. 
She does the same thing at home. She just flops down whenever she's not happy, whatever's going on. Luna, what are you chewing on, honey? No, ma'am. Oh, goodness, I don't know what she has. Puppies, we get into everything. No? No, no, no. Okay, sorry. It was a ketchup packet. I just don't want that everywhere. I could. I could use it to leave it open and then just peel it off. Luna! Ugh. We have to put her on her. She has taken off with my trash can. This is why I keep my trash can on the table because she loves to play with my trash cans. Okay, that looks good. <sighs> That looks a little wonky. Does it look a little wonky? It looks a little wonky. Luna. <laughs> All right, I think that looks much better. Okay, much better. I had made the seam allowance. I marked it down here, so that was good. <gasps> Luna, you broke my trash can. <laughs> okay. All right. So then I did that. So now I'm going to put on the exterior slip pockets. All right, <laughs> exterior slip pocket. I want the, the, the dull side to be the right side. Okay, so. Do that there. Okay, let's just go ahead and put that there, that there, okay, and that there, and then it's telling me to sew it down, down, darling, down. Okay, so I'm going to sew it. I, I need to move my needle position up because I can't quite get in there. So let me move my needle position. <laughs> Much better. What is it, Luna? She's not happy with me. Yes, baby. What, baby? Oh, she's barking at herself in the mirror. That's what it is. Look at 
that. It looks good. Awesome. So, okay. This thing is sharp. Okay. So I did that. And that's telling me to flip this one over to the wrong side. Oh no. Like like so. Like so. Is that what it means to do? Like that? I don't I don't understand. Okay, flip the exterior back over so the wrong side is up. Wrong side is up. And attach the slip pocket down. Away from the top. Place the remaining slip pocket exterior piece right side down. Centered and so again, okay. To the other seam allowance. Oh. Okay, so I flip this up. Thank you, BJ. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Told you words are just not my thing sometimes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so flip this down. And now I'm sewing through. Just this back piece, right? So I can just kind of pinch this back here for all intents and purposes. Just this back to the topic. Thank you, Brian. This was some gold fabric that I had left over from that um, lady's. Um, custom dress that she ordered for her 60th birthday. So I was like, oh, this actually goes really nice. It's a little harder to work with, obviously, because it's really silky, but hey, why not? Hey, Dawn, that's totally fine, Dawn. <laughs> oh, I haven't made this pattern either. I'm just because I'm just being adventurous. Oh. Oh, yeah, I knew it was going to be a temporary hold, Dawn, so don't worry about that. I knew it was going to be temporary, so don't feel bad.
that's the good thing about having the, the vinyl double sided tape that I sell is that it's it's not so crazy sticky that you can't quickly just take it off. Like and just hold things for basting with it. That's what I love about it. Okay, so I did that. All right. Step number four. So we are going to be top stitching this open. So this one's going to go up and this one's going to go down. And you want it so that it looks like there's nothing there. Like, oh, what you talking? Oh, what is that? I've never seen that before. <laughs> okay. Yes, now top stitch. You know who I saw do this pocket for the first time was um, Nicole from Sonar. She did this pocket for the first time that I'm aware of a while ago with one of her tote bags, which was super cool. Now, I've never done it myself. I mean, it probably is a different method of doing it for her style versus the way Jenny's doing it. I've just seen the video, like the, the YouTube video. A pocket key, yeah, like a, yes, like a pocket key. The secret, shh, the secret pocket. I want to make one of these bags for my aunt, Irma. I'm debating whether it's this one or, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get this thread to be back there so it doesn't tangle up. Either this bag or um, the Empress with this beautiful gold, like tan and gold fabric that I have. I've made her a bag with it before. But... You can never have too much of that beautiful croc, gold croc. All right, so what I'm going to do here is just, I'm double checking that underneath the pocket isn't like folding in or anything. Almost to the other side of the pocket. See, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of holding it all together just to make sure it's not getting the other direction. I had sent a uh, what did I just type? You, you typed cool pokey. <laughs> so I thought you were like a keyhole type of thing. I don't know. I don't know, Dawn. Okay. 
So now we have oh, it's like a monster mouth. All right, now that we've done that, now we can go here. Okay, and then we can stitch this down and then um, stitch this down, cut off the excess, and that's it. Because I think the front, the, the thingies seal it on the side. <laughs> the thingies. <laughs> Don't worry about me. The thingies and the thingies. I like pokey. Yeah. Okay, so now I've done that, but here's my dilemma. I want to make sure that this stays down exactly where it needs to be because it's kind of slippery. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of double-sided tape here and keep that down rather than cutting it off because it's really not bulky. It's just, look, look what Luna did to my tape. She bit my tape. It's still usable. She's into something. I know she is. I can hear her doing something. Luna, don't do that, baby. Just like that. So now it's down. Okay. Now I can take this, put it to the side. See right there, it's just a little bit too much. Just right there. You don't know how to fix that. But that's okay. Hey, sugars. What are you doing? She's playing with something. You need more tape, BJ? Okay. So handle connectors are next. Handle connectors. So let's see what you Give me a second. I'm trying to figure out which one of these is the handle cut. <laughs> because there's no pattern piece for it. There's all there is is the measurements. So I'm just trying to see which one. Okay. Yep. That's those pieces, right? Luna. Babies, don't do that, honey. Your, your brother's going to be very upset if you mess that up. Bring it to me. Come here. Come here. Okay, good girls. <laughs> Luna said. You see her? <laughs> okay, so lying down the middle, full towards the inside. I'm going to use my ink of an inch cheap.
So if I don't get done today, <laughs> then I promise I will come on tomorrow at the same time and do a live tomorrow. Um, just because I don't want to overdo it today. I have two classes back to back right after this. And by the time I'm done with both classes, I am exhausted because a live takes a lot of energy from me because I want to prove, like, source my energy out to you guys and give you good vibes. Um, and then also, the classes take a, a good bit of um, energy for me, too, because I'm more of an introvert type of person. So um, I love teaching. Love it, love it, love it. Would not stop teaching. Uh, but it's a lot to do all in one day. So if I don't get done today, don't worry, I promise I will come tomorrow and I will do it. But I already finished the Did You Fly. I did it off camera yesterday. Those circle things, oh Lord. Much harder with the vinyl than it was with um, the waterproof canvas, for sure. For sure. Okay, so I'm doing these. And I'm only gonna do one at a time. Okay, so I don't need to stitch anything yet, okay. Good. Okay, shoot this like that. Connector. Come on, guys. I totally eyeballed that. I did finish a do fly. I did, I did. There's one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Give me just a second. I think she's in the back room, and I don't want her getting in. Hey, Come here, girl. Hey, Down right here. Sit. 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 Luna, sit. I'm sorry, I bumped you. Come, sit, Luna. So I pretty much decided that these videos are just going to be sewing chats, not necessarily tutorials. Um, I think mostly it's going to be it's just chit-chatting, talking about what's going on here at the studio, what else is going on in the world, see how y'all doing, connect, um, and then make a bag or make something. Um, summer's coming, and I really, 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 really want to start making some summer dresses. 
So I think Tori and I are going to almost um, do a live together sometime soon. And when we do, we are going to um, probably do a, just a simple summer draft. You too? You want to make uh, summer dresses? Yeah. They're the best. I usually make like clothing and stuff for everybody else. I've only made myself like maybe two pair of pajama bottoms and one top or something like that. <clears throat> But I think this year is going to be more for me and then just show, showing you guys how I do it and then just, just chatting, really. Because the great thing is, is I have a serger. I have a cover stitch so I can use knits. I have my stretch needles for my domestics. So I can do that too. So I can just kind of like just have fun with it. No pressure, no pressure. What about you? Right there. Grabbed a couple extra bobbins. Don't know why. Oh, I know why because um, I wanted to make sure it fit. Because I have two different clear ones. One that fits perfectly for this machine, and then one it doesn't. You need to do some of yourself to wear this summer. This is so much cooler and so cute. Yes, I know, BJ. That's what I want to do. I'm gonna make myself keep 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 little summer dress outfits, sundresses and stuff. Luna, come here. Come. 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 Okay, so don't tell anybody, but I can get um, bamboo, uh, pop, like the bamboo stretch fabric. I forget what it's called, but I can get that kind of fabric. Bamboo Lyrica, that's what it is. I can get that with prints on it. So I might make myself a couple of uh, really cool printed dresses. We need to come up with a nice t-shirt for the retreat though. Like a design that would really really cool. So we can have for the uh, retreat. Hi, Cindy. How are you, girl? Good, I hope. I like the 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 stream yard because I can one, I see all your chats, but two, it actually has like what I'm making, so that way you guys can know what I'm making. It just kind of puts it out there. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, thank you. Forgot went in took the trash can and ate it. Okay, did that. Next page. Okay. This.
Okay. Then it says, Okay. Okay, so it's telling us to put the straps to the right of that. So I'm going to put some double sided tape. I'm not going to use too thick of a tape because I want to stitch on the outside, so I'm going to use the quarter inch. I don't think I can use a three eighths. What, well, baby? What do you see, Luna? When she sees people outside, she barks. She like, we've got windows now. I'm super excited because we got windows now um, at the studio. So she can actually look out the windows because the windows go to the floor. And she has a blast. I love it so much because she's able to do that. Hey, Sugar, what's going on? Well, baby, do you need to go potty? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let's take our friends with us. Do you just want to come out with me? <laughs> take our potty really fast rather than just sitting here looking at dead space? Yeah. Awesome. Like I said, this is just so in chat. And just, just do what we do. Okay. All right. You ready, Luda? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. See? She destroyed my trash can. See that? Sit. Go, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. It's so beautiful here. So this is the parking lot now in front of the studio. We got to get our sign done. It's going to happen soon. But. That's what it is. Luna, come this way, baby. Luna. It's starting to rain a little bit. Come on. And so we have this big, huge yard now that I can take her out. And she can do her business. And see, that's the main road right here. That's a pretty big road. And I'm able to put sign out there. Um right there. Come, girl. Go. All right, let's go back inside. Come. Come, Luna. Luna. Let me put you guys down for just a second. There you are, girl. Come on. Come on. Come in. Luna in. Good girl. Awesome. Thank you. All right. All right. Let's put you guys back up here. I think that's, is that where I was? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't you take my tape, Luna. Don't take my tape. No, ma'am. She took my tape. She destroyed my tape. Oops. Oopsie. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so I um I love this new space. The new space is so awesome because it's nicer for me and Luna to have time to play around and 
have time to do things. You know what it is. No, baby. No. No, Luna. No. No. It came tumbling down because Luna was uh, trying to chew. The tape. No, Luna. I'm sorry, guys. Sit. Sit. You know how I told everybody last time that I had to, um, I had to, um, <laughs> Did you move the industrials in this? Okay, so yes and no. Over here. Over there. So I had moved the industrials over here, right? But unfortunately, um, the business partner that I was working with in, re in regards to the um, industrials, decided that she did not want to continue teaching or doing classes. Um, and I pretty much was financing it with her. But she decided, nope, she wants to keep all the machines. And so she's like, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't owe me anything now. Just I'm taking the machines. So Luna. So now I don't have the industrials. I know, right, Cindy? So yeah, BJ, that's that's what um transpired. So my goal is to raise enough funds in the kitty again to buy at least five industrials and have them shipped and stuff. So that's the goal for the next the next round because you know I can't um I can't make her do something that she doesn't feel she wants to do anymore. So now how do I know if this is straight? There we go. All right. So if you guys are wondering too, like me, like I'm like trying to figure out like how am I going to know that this is straight? And um, lining up a straight edge here, and then lining up the tape right next to it, because in that way it's a ninety degree angle. Is this right? Yes, that's what I pretty much said. My husband said it too. Is like, you know, it is what it is. I can't change anything else. I can just move forward to learn from the lesson and build from there. I got this far. I will continue to climb the mountain. <laughs> I will continue to climb the mountain. What is for me is for me. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now it's telling me to sew up and down and then back down. Got it. I'm trying to figure out what she's eating. It's her bone. She gets like that sometimes when I'm sewing. Like there's times where I'm sewing and she just sits right next to me and doesn't do anything. I think it's because I'm talking that she's like, you're talking. Does that make sense? Like, I think that's what it is.
So the the brand that I had with my business partner was um, well past his partner um, was a Jucky J U K K Y, and it's pretty much a Juki eighty seven hundred. Um, there we go. Ajuki 8700 with it doesn't have walking foot or anything like that but it's great because you can go from thick fabrics to light fabrics very easily in between the both because I do more than just bag making um, in September we really kick off making costumes so uh, I need something that's going to be able to go through lighter fabrics too so that's the one I like so it's a comparison to a Juki 8700 and then the um, that would be my recommendation, unless you need something that has a walking foot that has thicker things, then you can get the eleven eighty one something. I don't remember what it's called. Okay, let me get you guys back just a little bit because it feels like you guys like right in this, which is not a bad thing. There we go. Is that better? I can see you guys. You see me. Okay. That's better. So that, that would be my recommendation, Cindy, is um, like really understand what you're trying to do with the industrial, whether it's primarily only bag making or are you also looking to do other things? Because the Juki 8700 is actually very good for pulpit. It's really easy to get into where the feed dogs are. To take the, the feed dogs out if you want to do free motion pulpit. So I'm going to hand crank to really get close that one time. Oh, my stitches got off just a little bit. Nice and easy. When it's not as bulky, you can go faster. Oh, BJ, you'd like it actually because where the industrials were, it's not like a seating area. So I moved the two armchairs from over the, that side over to in front of me now. So that's like a seating area. And then we're going to make like a little coffee bar right over here because I have the mini fridge. Um, so the microwave and the coffee maker is going to be over there like a little mini thing. And the refrigerator will have like drinks in it for people. So it, I'm sure it'll be exactly the way it needs to be. I caught that perfect. Oh, for the new bag stock pattern? Is that that oval bag? Well, half circle bag kind of thing. <laughs> Calm down, okay? It needs to reset itself. 
This is like, no. See? It's just fun. Oh, yes, it is that one. Okay, good. I, I think that's a really cute pattern. Here, Luna. Come here, baby. Okay. Okay. Take a nap, baby. I'm gonna bite my hand. That's what she does when she wants to wants my attention. Oh, good girl. Now she's laying down right here to my left. So pretty. My stitching got off just a little bit right there, but no one's really going to notice that with me. Okay, so then now I get to... Is that polka dot fabric or is that like rivets? I'm so confused. Okay, so it caught... That really fun, so I don't have to worry about my pocket being open. So there we go. Nice little secret pocket. Okay, so that one's done. I think I need to do the front piece too now. Exterior front. So we're repeating the same process with the exterior. I want to make I don't know if it's a circle if it'll be like that circle bag type of thing or not but out of like faux fur I I think that would be kind of cool <laughs> obviously it'll be a little bit of a challenge but I kind of want to do that Something that's textured, you know, like nice and soft. That would be cute, wouldn't it? What classes are you teaching today, Sandra? I am teaching um, the fashion students, so the fashion course today. Um, they're starting to do their garment constructions. Some of them have already done their... I almost, I almost messed that up. Um, they're start, they've already started their... Muslims or doilies, as some people like to call them. Uh, and so now that they've done that, we'll start actually getting to their actual like fabric fabrics. Um,
Is that? I don't know. I think I scanned it. <laughs> oh, there it is. So that's what we're teaching. And then after that, then it's Garment 101. It's very similar to Introduction to Garment. It's just me making it. Me doing the class instead of um, Miss Angie, who used to do the other class on industrials. I just teach you how to do it on domestics. Uh, don't, they can bring their own machine or they can use the ones here. So that's the great thing about, you know, I'm going to say the stu my studio here is it's very all inclusive. Like you don't really have to bring anything unless you want to. You have a preference? Great. If not, no worries. My niece wants to make her own dress pattern and wants my help. I'm so proud she's taking up the craft. Yes, for sure. It's really nice when the younger generation wants to learn how to do sewing and doing this type of craft. Like when I first started, I only did kids' closets. <laughs> And it was after like about, I don't know, six, eight months. And then the adults were like, um, I want to learn too. <laughs> you know, and they're like, I kind of learned when I was in high school or kind of learned from something or my mom tried to teach me, but, you know, she wasn't, didn't have much patience for it or whatever. So I was like, oh, okay. So I started teaching adults. So now I teach kids and adults. And the really cool thing is we have a class that's for like teen and adult. It's a combination machine, uh, not machine, um, class. And what it is, it's just that it's earlier in the day. So it's like perfect for high schoolers who are getting out of high school. Or if you are retired or you just work from home or um, or a stay-at-home mom and you want to come in at the 4.30 class, that works too. She has finally settled. So the thread that I'm using is a text 45 by, by Kasaya. So, oh, that's interesting. Um, and it works beautifully with this machine. You just need a, a thread stand for it to go through because you can't put it here. And um, you need a bigger needle. So I say at least a 16, if not an 18. And everything works perfect.
Uh, I took pattern design in high school, so I'll have to see if I can remember everything. <laughs> you know, Dawn, it, everything's at your fingertips these days. So as soon as you get back on the bike, you'll learn. You, you'll just remember, you know? It's not too bad. drinking my water. Goodness, it's already been an hour and a half. Music memory. Oh, muscle memory. That's right. <laughs> I read music. Sorry. <laughs> It'll come back to you, I promise. My dad taught me a lot about reading patterns and how a lot of times the pattern people are just what he called a whole people, <laughs> is what he said. Because a lot of it wouldn't be, it's like assume that you already know a lot of this stuff. So when you're doing things, it's like, how do they know I know this? Like, I don't know I know this. Like, I, this is my first time. Like, why? Um, and he was just like, yeah, you're so this. I was like, oh, okay. No problem. Okay, so I've done that. I did that for both of them. Now I'm going to get home. Strap connectors. Do the same process. I don't know how it's somewhere. <laughs> Don, yeah. <laughs> My dad was very funny. He's the reason why I have the teaching studio. Um, no, Christine, she's not, she's no longer my business partner. <laughs> yeah, so my dad is the reason why I... I'm passionate about sewing. Um, and he's the reason why I teach. He was amazing in teaching me how to do it and answering all my questions whenever I had questions. So, like, well, this is something I get to do. Okay, okay, okay. He didn't like that. I get it. He didn't like me jumping over it like that. So it's like, no. Yeah, he was awesome. He was awesome. Thank 
one day I'll get the nerve to actually use his sewing machine to do one of my videos. The one I got when he passed away. I didn't hear it. It's an old machine, it's a vintage machine. And I can't wait until the day that I can actually like, it works. It works, it works really nice. It's a white machine from like the 60s, I think. <coughs> it works beautifully. I got it serviced. So it works. Okay, so I've done that. Connectors. Again, my faces, the faces I make when I'm concentrating. Remind me again, is it Debbie or Beth? Don't hurt me, it's been a minute. <laughs> okay, so that's what that. Uh -huh. okay. I need side pins. Yes. Yes, I am. I am sewing vinyl. Laura, Lori, Lori, Lori. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yes, I am, Lori. I am sewing on a domestic, and I'm doing through vinyl. And they said it can't be done. <laughs> it can be. You just have to have a little patience. That's all. It's no big deal. All right, please take it there because I know I'm going to need it. Sorry, Luna. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to scare you. That thing is just not working. <laughs> Gloria, who knew there were so many of you with the same name, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just have my name as, you know, Garner Sewing Room. And I could change it. Luna, baby, don't chew on stuff, baby. Oh, 
No, sweetheart. Move your foot. Move your foot. Sweetheart. So I have this thing here that's supposed to clamp and stay clamped to the table. But it's this table's too thick, so I do it to the other table. So I do it to this table. But it's falling down like three times already today. So I am just going to just Put it over there. Hey, babies. No, no babies. Sit back. Come on. Oh, that's my go go. Yeah, that's my go go. Go go. She's, she went like further away from me because she's like, oh, fine. <sighs> Senator, do you still have your industrial that you sewed? Yes. I still have my industrial. That one I paid for a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't pay for it. <clears throat> My husband bought me that machine a long time ago. My husband did. My husband. He bought me that machine the year after my father passed away. Because um, I had already started the studio by then. And, no, no, it was two years. I think it was two years. And every, I was sewing so much stuff for like costumes and stuff too, that it just made more sense to have an industrial. So he bought me it as an investment into my business, which was amazing. Because not only does he support me, but he supports me, if that makes sense. So this machine here has this little um, opening here that you can open it, and you can actually put one of those, um, what are they called? Levers to you, for your knee, a knee lift. Um, a knee lift. So the knee lift works really great. Um, I didn't need to do it that way, did I? If you don't want to have to use the up and down pressure foot. Uh, no. The free arm I did um, purchase, but unfortunately, she saw it as something that was her, so she said that she wanted it. And I'm to the point where I'm like, it's fine. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. It's okay. It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. There we go. That's done. All right, so let me do the next one. Glory. That's right, Glory.
No, Luna. So we did that. Okay, so now we get to put the overlay. And that is, I just had it. Chrissy, you need to lift a knee lift now. Yeah. You need to elevate your foot. So that when it comes time for the retreat, you're healed and you can sew with us. There we go. Oops. <laughs> I was like, where's Luna? And then all of a sudden, like, the retreat is June. I've got a lot of dates in my head. June 7th through the 9th. June 7th through the 9th. If you're just coming to the retreat, it's $4.95. That's all inclusive materials, snacks, and lunch each day. Um, it's a three-day retreat, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, all the materials for the Aries bag and a couple other little things that we'll be putting in there. Um, let's see here. At 2 o'clock, I'll show you guys the sneak peek that she never said I could. <laughs> to show you guys the fabric. The hardware, I'm still waiting on it. It's taking a minute because it is very intricate. It's very intricate. Hi, babies. Hi. What are you doing? Hello, what are you doing? Okay, girl. Hey, Luna. Luna, you want to say hi? She's so big. I took her to the vet just to get her weighed, and she's 60.8 pounds. So she's almost 61 pounds. <laughs> Nobody. We're not showing on that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to sew on this yet. I'm supposed to put it on and then sew it. Dawn, she is seven months old. She is a Bernice mountain dog with a standard poodle. So she's a Bernadoodle. But she's a second generation Bernadoodle. Her dad was first generation Bernadoodle. 
and then her mom is a uh, pure, a purebred um, steer. So when I was looking, for my husband was like, "Okay, let's start thinking about getting a dog." start looking at it. Um, um, you know, I was very much convinced that I was going to get a small dog. But, you know, some things in life get what you need, not what you want. Um, I needed her. I needed her to be big and glorious and just as she is. Something happened to my sound? What happened to the sound? Hold on. Really? How's that now? Something happened to my sound. I didn't change anything. Everything's still plugged in. Everything? It sounds far away, huh? huh. Let me see. Hopefully that sounds better now. Does that sound better now? I muted it and then I muted it. Hopefully that makes it better. I'm sorry. I didn't know. That's so weird because I haven't done anything different. Sounds better when you're closer to the camera. Okay, so if I talk into the camera, you can hear me better than I can, you can if I'm talking like this. Okay. It is very odd, isn't it? Okay. And the thing is, it's not even thick there. I just wanted to do that for some reason. <laughs> Come on. Speak, sir. <laughs> Brett is being temperamental today because it wasn't even thick and she's acting like she can't take it Goodness, my mind went in the gutter so fast. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And if you want to, you can put a rivet there or a Chicago screw just for decoration or whatever. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, Dawn. <laughs> oh, I'm so immature. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Everybody, yeah. Anybody who knows me knows me knows I'm very immature. <laughs> Oh, I guess this one is like not even like the right. Okay. Use the measurement. Um, <laughs> and just sew it down again. Just making sure I knew where Luna was. She's like by my foot, but not by my foot. That makes sense. She's like right next to my foot, but not next to my foot. So I just want to make sure I didn't like bother her. If you didn't know, this is her space, not mine. I'm just making a little pump jump. It looks like this is going to be a two-parter, but the great part is, is that everything else will be like ready to assemble. So it's like we did all of the prep work to assembly and then assemble it tomorrow for a live. Why not? <laughs> There's the second one. Awesome sauce. Now we're going to the next. One. Okay, so it's telling me to assemble the exterior, but I think I want to move on to doing the lining pieces first. because I think it'd be better. Yeah, that's what we'll do. As Dawn said, I know what you were thinking, so I must have the same sick sense of humor. <laughs> I couldn't stand you sewing without me sewing. Just finished the emu while listening to you. Um, it's so sick and cute. I know, the emu bag is perfect. It's so, like, beginner-friendly and everything. Just enough introduction into hardware, but not, like, you know? Yeah. It's super cute. Okay, so this is the slip pocket. So with the slip pocket, we're putting pretty sides together. Right? Wait. 
and we're only stitching at the top edge. Oh, yeah. That would be so cool, BJ. Your iPad will fit in there. Oh, yeah. I don't know what just no, that was. Let's do something. <laughs> oh, 9%. Why is it not charging? Hold on, guys. My phone is saying it's not charging, which is not cool. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Oh, okay, so it's down the, both long edges. You got it. Good thing I read that or just noticed that. I was like, okay, I got it. BJ, I love these clips. You are going to need to send me the link. I think I found the same ones, but I want to make sure. Um, and that way I can tell everybody else. I think that's what it was. I think it, the phone was dying, so it was like reserving energy or something. Not cool, man. Not cool. Thank you. Oh, or you can do messenger. I think I sent you a messenger request. Under Sandra Cox. Because I don't know why we're not friends on Facebook. I thought we were. I thought we were friends on Facebook. <laughs> You made me go and buy a domestic journey. Oh, I, I didn't know I twisted your arm, Patty. <laughs> they are really nice. So the um, the manufacturer reached out to me and told me if I can get if they if I can buy thirty of these, they'll give it to me at the two forty nine price rather than the three eighty something that the is usually retails for. I'm like, I can't sell 30 of these machines. Like, that's a lot of money. We can be shortly. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, BJ. I was like, oh, we're not friends on Facebook? <laughs> Facebook is like the only social media I really like do. <laughs> Um, my assistant, Maddie, uh, Madison Maddie, I call her Maddie. Um, she is going to start working on getting my Instagram, my TikTok and Facebook, like all the socials and Twitter and all that stuff like running so people can start seeing what I'm doing. She's young. But not too young. Like she's a senior in, um, she's a senior in college right now at the Wilson Co Textile College. BJ, is that you sending me stuff? Or is that somebody else? Dawn. Yes, Dawn. This is too funny. Okay. 
Yeah, I got you. Okay. All right. All right, BJ. Mm -hmm. We're friends. All right. <laughs> okay, so now what am I doing? Oh, turning it out. Okay, turning it out. Oh, I meant to have this be the turn. Oh, it's too late now. It's not, but it is because it's almost two o'clock. <laughs> so, do you have a friend? Of course, you do. It's hilarious. I'm just going to warn you, Dawn, like 90% of my posts are about Luna. She's like my new child. And my kids. <laughs> and so. Okay, so I'm going to need to iron this because this is not going to stay right. Okay. I brought an iron over here, but it never plugged it. I'm just ironing by. Let the iron get heated up first. So I think this is probably a good chance. Oh, it's two o'clock. The six month old boxer, Apollo, another a Pomeranian named Benji or Bingo. Was it Benji or Bingo? I can't see. All right. You guys ready for this? This is a great stopping point. I can do all my prep work. So this is the fabric for the retreat. The theme for the retreat is Outlander. So we had to do something with dragonflies and like just a like culture. And then this is a blender. So this is um, his clan colors. So Jamie's clan colors. That's what that is. So that and that. And then this beautiful faux leather. Amazing. This faux leather, it feels like leather, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It looks like leather. It's got like the texture of leather. Um, it's just butter. It's beautiful. So this is actually the lot that is going to Shinova. So she can go play around with it and have fun with all of this wonderful fabric. And um, the hardware, I should be getting an update from the manufacturer tonight or tomorrow about when they're going to finish it up. because It's very intricate. So it's very intricate hardware. And um, it's it's big. It's going to be a big piece of hardware. Um, so you're going to custom zipper pulls and custom uh, magnet emblem and um, zipper tape. All everything. Like webbing, webbing, zipper tape, everything's going to be custom to this theme. Um, and I'll probably do a pre-order 
a couple of weeks before the retreat. So if anybody wants to order more, they can order it through the pre-order. But right now what I have ordered is solely for the retreat. So we have um, 18 like kits like or materials for the kit. So it's a half a yard of each of these fabrics. Um, then obviously we're going to put the hardware in there and everything else in there. So I'm really excited. And then obviously you're going to get the Aries. Um, I'm going to talk to my friend Georgia and see if um, she would do me the honor and um, let me pay her for making templates for the Aries and have that included in the bag because I think that would be really cool right because you're gonna get the pattern anyway um so I'm gonna go uh Let's see if I already paid that it was for Shannon or not or not a direct template. I may have I'm not sure I try to that's the first thing I try to do is make sure I have enough copies of it for everybody who's attending yeah so I'll uh, probably put in a pre-order for this fabric I'm probably going to do it like end of April, maybe beginning of May, just so I have enough time so that it get it in more time for the retreat. So that way, during the retreat, if you are not able to attend the entire retreat, maybe you can come and shop one day. Um, you know, you can do my so that way, you can come and shop at least and see, get things exclusively before. The sound is going again. Ugh. I don't know why. I think my phone is just like acting up, but okay. Sorry, Dawn. So sorry about that. All right. So share it with people. Um, I'll put the link on the description box for the retreat. Uh, it's going to be a really big deal. Um, if you can't make it to that retreat, we do have some other workshops and things happening throughout the summer, starting as early as May and going all the way through August. So if you can't come to that one, Come here for one of them. Um, no, the retreat is not sold out, Patty. We have 11 out of 18. So we have seven spots left. We have seven spots left, so you are more than welcome to get in there. Uh, and we do have a room block. So if you want to have, um, I think we have one person who needs a roommate. You want to do a shared room um if not then we also have a solo king room that you can bundle up in there all right guys thank you so much i really appreciate it thank you all right i'll see you guys tomorrow to finish mr heckle i will continue to do all the prep work off camera but the assembly of putting it together we will do together how's that so um, i'm leaving it as is we'll finish tomorrow okay bye have a wonderful day say bye bye Luna. Bye-bye.